color and the background color. Foreground color means a color of the text, background color means the color of the text behind it. Default is red and yellow, so why don't we keep that? Save the trigger to update that. Get the text again, and voila, you see, it colored our text. Our words are now red on a yellow background. That's what color it's triggered us for you. And this big text block right here is for inputting your scripts. If you'd like to do some advanced system scripting, you can use this box to put in your Lua scripts. Next, let's go over to aliases and create a simple alias. For my testing purposes, how about you make the tooler combination SS send hello to the mug. So what I'll do again is I'll create, click add, alias name. Again, it can be any name you want, while it doesn't care about it. This is just for you. Now for pattern, what you should remember right away is that you should put all your alias patterns inside a caret and a dollar sign. Like that. We used to, you put in your alias in between them. We'll cover over that later, but if you understand how reject works, then this is using a reject type right here. So remember, caret, dollar sign, your alias in the middle. Substitution this is what we want to substitute our pattern with. Again, if you want to do something simple like say hello, you can do that right here. Save. So now what will happen when we type ss is that it will replace ss with say hello. Let's go give it a try. ss. Ta-da! You replace it with say hello. Very interesting. And of course we'll have a big box for scripting. Next we'll get to scripts. Or not actually because it's a rather advanced concept. Let's do timers instead. Um, what is a timer? A timer is something that goes off on a pre periodic interval. For example, if we want to say hello every two seconds, we can use a timer for that. Mylet will use a timer to say hello every two seconds. So again, add item, timer name, my first timer, command, we want to say hello, so you type say hello. And now right here you see the time. The way the format works is the first field is hours, the next field is minutes, after that is seconds and milliseconds. We want to say it every two seconds, so I put in a two right here. Save it, activate it, and watch. Hello. 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 So you can see our timer is working successfully. Isn't that wonderful? Next we can do keys. These are your key bindings, your macros, however you want to call it. Basically means that when you press a button on your keyboard, it'll do something. For example, if I want to make my F1 button say hello, we can do that. Name my first key binding. Command say hello. And now for the key binding, I press this little grab new key button and then I press F1. So there we go, it created it. I save it, it's activated by default, and now I'll go and press F1, and it'll say hello. Hello. Whenever I press F1. Very useful. And next is the buttons. Buttons are the simple buttons on my lip. One that also has a rather advanced label and button scripting interface, but that's outside the scope of this screencast. To create a button at first, you create, create group. All buttons want to be inside a group because groups are aligned somewhere in the model screen. I'll show you how you how that works later. So at first I create a new toolbar, group, whatever. I save it, I activate it. And I create a new button inside it. New button. Now, in this case, button name is the text that will be on the button. So it's not anything that you want to use, but this is the actual text that you want to display in a button. So let's say, call it first button. I click save. Activate it. And hey, look, my button has now appeared on my linear face. 
just like magic. It doesn't do anything right now because I didn't give it any commands. See commands and what I'm done if I want just to say hello. If I want my button to say hello when you're pressing it, let's try it out. Yeah, there you go. It's working. Now, what if you want your button to be on the side, not on the top? You can change that. You go to your button group, because all buttons are grouped, remember? And you can select dock area left, instead of dock area top. Save it, and hey look, my button is down on my left. Quite nice. Now, what if I want to create a new button? How will that look? Second button. Click, activate, and hey, my second button now appears. Ta-da! Now, if you like the buttons to be side by side, you can change their orientation. Change the button toolbar to be horizontal, save it, and here you go. You can change back to top, save, now here are my two buttons together. Quite neat. And next is we have a search feature. Search feature obviously searches. Type search, click. Let's, for example, we want to save search for a word massive that we've typed somewhere. But then it's on my screen right now. I don't know where it is. I click a search, press enter, and look, it displayed me. One result. So to go over this, type trigger, so which means that it, what it found was a trigger name my first what my first trigger where inside a pattern what my massive gatehouse so here's my first trigger here's my pattern massive gatehouse very nice don't you think now if, for example if i want to search for hello oh it didn't find it it doesn't search substitutions yet but that's right it'll do that later and of course i have a delete item delete something for me. Import and export buttons are, can be used for backups. They will either import your whole profile or export one completely. And if you want to use it, you can also save your profile somewhere on your system. My profile on my desktop. It'll get saved. There it is right here actually. So that's about it for the first model screencast. I hope it covers everything that you'd like to know about Modlet. And expect more screencasts on how to do the more advanced features coming shortly. Meanwhile, enjoy Modlet 1.0 release. It is available at www.modlet.org. It's available for Windows, Mac, Ubuntu, and whatever other Linux distribution you're using, absolutely for free. So, you know, go ahead and try it and enjoy it. We're also very open to feedback, so if you have anything to say about Mudlet, if you have any ideas on the improvement, just let us know in our forums, we'll respond to you quite quickly. That's it, and have a good day.